No, I'm just kidding, because the helmet, I'm just like, and then I'm tied. Feel great though. I'm ready. <laughs> do, you, do you introduce yourself every time you do the video? Um, yeah, I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> my name. <laughs> I'm gonna end one of my videos like that. All right. I want to. <laughs> oh man, I just talk about everything now. It gets so calm, like comfortable, just confessing everything. Hey, cause they told us like pretend the cameras aren't there. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, Cadet, looks like you're ready to go. Let's go. So one of the things that they really do hit on um, and they reiterate and reiterate is the possibility of having to use our firearm to pre protect ourselves or protect someone else. I hope that I go my entire career without having to pull the trigger on my firearm. That's not what I want to do. That's not what I'm here for. I think one of the most important things is realizing that you are carrying a deadly weapon and the... the weight that that holds and the responsibility that that holds. It, this is a dangerous job. I understand that coming in. You know, it really starts to hit you a little bit that this is this is the job. Like this, this is something that you may have to do one day in this career. Hopefully not, but what, if and when it does is when you have to be ready. So it's exciting to finally get our firearms, but these firearms have a lot of meaning behind them. When they said that this will be your weapon when you become a CHP officer, if you are so lucky to graduate out of here, it felt kind of like part of a transition into becoming a police officer. That felt pretty amazing. So before starting at the CHP Academy, I did have some experience with firearms. Um, I've spent a lot of years shooting. I've shot anything from the Glock 19, rifle, shotguns, uh, compact, full size. I have literally zero experience with firearms. I think I've held a gun maybe once or twice, but never shot, never shot rifles, shotguns. Five, two, three, 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 three. Command to drive that gun forward, pull back with that support hand, rack it. A gun is very obviously dangerous, right? So you have to be careful with how you use it. So there was a lot of information they gave us before then to make sure that everyone was safe while we practiced with them. No bad questions. Ask if you are unsure, we'll straighten it out and we can keep moving forward and we don't have to stop to address things that are going wrong. Understood? Yes, sir. There's a lot of, that goes into shooting your firearm. It's not just like you get it out of your holster and you shoot. The range staff is really good at kind of teaching you um, very from the basics. So they know a lot of us have never shot a firearm before and they go through and through with it. They full on teach you how to stand, they teach you how to hold the gun. Everything is new to me, so me learning this for the first time is uh, beneficial because I'm learning how to do it right. With time that we're gonna put enough uh, rounds through these guns that everybody's gonna become pretty proficient at shooting their weapons. They definitely let you let you get to know the weight of your gun. Sometimes you're holding it and it's like 30 seconds and your arms are already like, this is a really heavy gun. So, and they make a point, you know, they say that maybe one day in your career you'd have to hold it up for X amount of time and you can't be sitting there shaking. Target line up to our eye target line, right? Which is where my eyes are looking, understand? 
They had us uh, load up our guns, 10 rounds, two magazines, and uh, they're explaining how to insert the uh, magazine into the pistol, how to load it and keep it downrange, and uh, how the sight picture works. Overall, the first day on the range was very good. I was able to shoot more accurately with this gun than with any of the guns that I own. Pretty proud of myself with how I've gone so far, but there's definitely a lot of room for growing with my shooting techniques. Definitely, I need to work on aim, um, <laughs> but you know, hopefully with training in time, actually not hopefully, I know with training in time, I will better myself. I've been a licensed driver since I was 16. I'm 28 now, so I'm not that good at math, but however long that is. <laughs> Four years. 10 years. 12 years. 21 years now. For six years. I've been a licensed driver since 2014. 13 years. For a very long time. I always kind of thought I was a pretty good driver until they make you do things in EVOC a certain way, and then I think to myself, maybe I'm not a good driver because I was hitting a lot of um, cones. I don't like to speed at all. I love, love driving sports cars, but 70 miles per hour is really pushing it for me. <laughs> EVOC driving is a bit different. Um, because technically we're being taught what we weren't allowed to do outside of the academy, so it's kind of hard to get used to driving fast. Wide, 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 wide. There you go. High intensity enforcement tactic driving, all of that is just eye opening. I still am so completely shocked to see what these Chargers and Ford Explorers are doing. Same speed, right? Now watch, I just turn rough. instructors at the CHP Academy are incredible. I can't believe what they're able to do and how they're able to manipulate the vehicles. To me, they speak a whole different language and they run with it. Go oh, apex this, high entry this, and uh, what is that? I was like, what does that mean? I got it now though. The instructors are great. They're very patient. I asked them a million times. The skid pan is the best time. track that uh, is a loop track and you have to drive and skid. <laughs> it's in the name, skid pad, skid pan. I mean they just give you a fast car and a wet floor and tell you just go spin around circles and gain control so I mean <laughs> it's as fun as it sounds. Driving on the skid pan for me was pretty fun just because for most people especially the people down in SoCal, we really don't slide around. It is so fun that you get an area where you are able to, one, put your car in, in, a, in a position where it's out of control, but you learn how to put it in control. Watch the speed for the slick turn, turn in burst, counter steer, and remove. When I first started doing skid pan, if my foot was touching the gas, I was spinning in circles nonstop. So <laughs> I don't do that anymore. Luckily, I have figured out how to gain control and uh, do it somewhat correctly. It's hard to keep the cars not spinning around. Um, after a while, you do get nauseous with uh, all the movements that go around. In general. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not much throttle, huh? It's fun until you're the back seat, though. I'm not gonna lie, because being in the back seat and getting your head rocked back there when someone, one of your fellow cadets, is driving. Um, yeah, no, I had to get out. I was like, okay, I'm out. I'm dizzy. <laughs> I'm good at getting my head rocked. Oh, man. Turn in. <laughs> but it's definitely a lot of fun. I mean, why get a pool in your backyard? Just get a skid pan, get the, you know, I feel like it's cheaper, just need a car.
and uh, bald tires. For skid pan, you only get four attempts, and I was on my fourth attempt. I was super stressed out about that. And you just start thinking of the worst, it's like what's gonna happen. I broke down um, because I mean that was something that could send me home. When I did my fourth attempt, I got in the car and I was like, okay, you know, like I got this, but I constantly run through my mind. I'm like, what if I don't? Like I'm out of here and that's it, you know. There was just so many emotions going through my mind. looking at the time, I'm almost out of time. And it's, it's stressful, I was stressing out so much. Look at the lens, tell us what happened right now. They told me that I passed, so of course I'm excited now. I'm just excited to get this over with and now on to high speed. So I hope that it takes me at least less than four tries this time. But, um, but yeah, I guess we'll see how that goes. But so far I'm excited I passed it, man. <laughs> We want each of you to be someone who can lead. Because when we're out there on the road, we may be the only person there handling a chaotic scene. We have to be a leader. On that fountain are the names of all of the officers that have been killed in the line of duty. It's really a challenge, and I just kind of approach it just one thing at a time. You definitely don't want to mess up. You got to do it right.